We're live in Rochester, Indiana for Tag's album release party and this is Midwest Finest and we bring to you 3CK. 3CK, tell us a little about yourself, man. Um, the name is 3CK, stands for Third Culture Kid. I'm um, just, you know, out of Elkhart, Indiana, just trying to do my thing, whatever, make music, love it. Uh, most of all, I try to help out people with it, get a positive message. I really try to hit up the people, man, that uh, like the type of music, but, you know, want a uh, positive message in it, so that's what we do. Well, I know 3CK, I know you're into a lot of stuff, so can you tell the people what you're into, man, besides, you know, being a rapper and stuff like that? Let them know what you're up to. Um, well, I've been doing a lot of uh, production for other artists, like recording and whatnot. Um, it's really a lot of fun. Get to listen to a lot of awesome music, which might be the best part about it all. Um, but uh, for free, <laughs> something like that. And, uh, also, I do a lot of just travel around. Uh, right now, tags album release party in there with my sounds, just making sure that everything bangs nice and hard. All right. And, uh, you know, just doing what we can. I'm not winded up there. All right. I'm gonna slow it down just a little bit. <laughs> this next song is called Right Now. And uh, there's a song off my album that's out right now called Puddles. And uh, basically the idea of the album is every path has its puddle. And uh, you know, sometimes you can dodge those puddles, sometimes you get stuck walking right through them. It's all about the choices you make. And this song here is a story about a guy who uh, made some choices and it's just him kind of examining where his life is at from those choices. Go ahead and play that. This is uh, up for a free download on my website if you want it. And uh, you can just go on to 3skonline.com and get it there, alright? Just listen up. Turn it up. There's a special today at the China Buffet. So he sits in a daze and he played after pleasure was another rough day. You can see it in his face. He never felt guilt like this before. They say life is a fight and ain't built for war. So although he sits in a booth built for war, this loneliness is his own reward. Should I say the mistakes? Cause that's what made him take this position that leaves him wishing, drifting into a daydream about things that were never seen. Cause there was a time that he felt like a king with his queen, then a diamond ring. I mean, she was everything, but things were tense and they kept getting hotter. Trying to figure what went wrong in the father. His drink stopped when the waitress asked, Do you like some more water? Yeah, I Take the 
house and see Shlank gets back to the same old mattress. He learned that life's not about who's the fastest, who can hold on, who really has to lift you up that fast. It wasn't all that dark, he was a man that was ever God's heart. He wasn't perfect, but he always did his part. His vision was clear, he knew his purpose and how to get there. But then this past year, he got scared, made some bad choices, and now he's left here. He got seen to disappear, and people think he's crazy, but so they goes somewhere.